Yeah, it's been a while since I've reacted to boxing highlights. So, yeah, I'm going to do another one. This one is going to be Timothy Bradley versus Ruslan Provodnikov. Not 100% sure if I pronounced that right. This won Fight of the Year by Ring Magazine. And uh, I remember it being a really great fight. And uh, I really respect Tim Bradley. I actually think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I think a lot of people hold his controversial win over Manny Pacquiao against him. It's not his fault. He didn't score the fight. But apart from that, though, you know, he was a he was a great champion. He was tough as hell. So this is it. You know. Bradley tries, I think, to be a boxer puncher, but just isn't a big puncher. Um, what he does hit that was true. Didn't have a big knockout ratio, did he? And he's a pit bull. You know, once he locks on, he's got to shake him loose. Oh, Provodnikov was a beast. Oof. That should have been a knockdown. His legs were gone. Oh, that was brutal. That was an awesome overhand right. The perfect punch for someone his size. Bradley got hit by a big right hand. There's a delay here. And the both were the both are stocky guys, actually, aren't they? The referee, the referee certainly could have ruled that. He sh man, I think he should have done because his legs were gone. God. And how good were the old HBO commentators, though? You know, Jim Lampley, Jim Lampley, and you know, what's his face? Oh, Roy Jones Jr., of course. Great commentary teams. They, they kind of put some of our UK ones to shame. You know, with the, with the enthusiasm that they show. Great chins. Uh, I believe both of those guys were never stopped during their career. Or could drop, but you, you could drop them, but you couldn't, like, you know, take them and finish them. Damn. Oof. That was a lovely left hook. Oh, lovely combinations. Yeah, Bradley had underrated skills. You know, he wasn't just a pressure fighter, you know, he could box. Oh, lovely hand speed. That was really nice. I first watched Bradley when he beat Junior Witter in the United Kingdom. And uh, I remember he put him down as well. They scored it a split decision, but it wasn't actually that close, I don't think. I love those overhand rights. That was lovely. That is a punch perfect uppercut. Love those triple jabs. He was a clean boxer as well. See, he's not holding or anything. He's just he's pu made pushing to make some room and he's just letting his hands go. Oh, that was lovely. Ooh. Provodnikov. Maybe too many wars. Maybe he would have had a better career if it wasn't for fights like this. Ooh. Reminds me of Oscar De La Hoya and Ike Quarter. The last round where they just... Quarter spending most of it just punching off the ropes. He's hurt, but he's just punching still.
Rodnikov smiling. That's cheeky. I wish he was still fighting. You know. Both of them. Timothy Bradley would still be a force in the division. Underrated well away. Can he only ever lose the money pack here? I might, I might look at some more Timothy Bradley fights as well, like his fight with one Manuel Marquez. That was pretty good, wasn't it, as well? I'm trying to think of another good Provadnica performance as well. Maybe, maybe his fight with Chris Algieri. On great trainers. Just non-stop work. Oh man. Ooh. Oh man, if it was anyone else. God, Bradley's stubborn. Down? That was awesome. Just as good as I remember it. Was that the ear, an ear shot then? I think that was an ear shot. Equilibrium. The referee had the option of ruling that the ropes had kept Bradley up. Yeah. And then eventually Bradley's knee went to the canvas, and that clearly became the knockdown. That was such a good fight, though. And uh, from the highlights, uh, you know, I, mean, I don't know what would be like judging it round by round, but it looks like one of those ones that could go out either way. Yep. Yeah. You know what? I might quickly look at some punch stats for that fight. So, from after the whole fight, wow, Bradley Land did actually land and throw a lot more punches. So, out of punches, Bradley landed 347 out of exactly 1,000 punches. He threw 1,000 punches in that fight. And uh, Provodnikov threw uh, 676, which is, a, a, you know, a lot to his credit as well, 218 shots. And uh, but some of his shots were a lot more impactful. Oh. Uh, so there you go. I actually spoke a bit more then, but my uh, camera turned off. Uh, yeah, so that was a great fight. That You can see why it won Ring Magazine Fight of the Year. That was amazing. And uh, I really respect both fighters as well. Like I said, Tim Bradley, I think he'll be a shoo-in for the Hall of Fame in the future. You know, he was a WBC, WBO, lightweight champion. WBO, lightweight champion. He beat guys like Juan Manuel Marquez and... Devon Alexander, Kendall Holt, and, you know, a lot of others, too. And, uh, and you know what, Provodnikov, man, I wish he would have done more. I wish he would have... I, th I think he kind of lost a lot of longevity during that war with Bradley, I think it seems. Or maybe I overestimate him, but, you know, he was a... God, he must have been a fan favourite, you know. God, that fight was awesome. 
and uh, I'll have to check out some more of his fights and Bradley's too. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it.